Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We're doing a little bit of a retro kid, retro arcade, retro corner thing here on the channel. Um, I've got James McInnesby here to join me. Hello. Yes. Um, playing retro games is always so much more fun whenever you have guests and people along with you because you can all remember the series that you're playing. And we're going to be playing Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal, yeah. The last Twisted Metal game I would have played would have been Twisted Metal either online or Twisted Metal Black, I think it was called, on the PS2. I, I got Twisted Metal Black mm. uh, and played it back, and yeah, it was great back in the day. And the, But I haven't played it since PS2 times. So. There was, because the Twisted Metal, I actually enjoyed the series, but I thought it took itself a little, no, probably not too seriously, but I think it was a little kind of like too, too edgy for its own good kind of thing. So the games of a similar type, like Vigilante 8, I enjoyed much more. I loved Vigilante 8. And Vigilante I, 8 I was a the, classic. I got the, um, the rehash, well, not the rehash version, what do you call it? The, uh, re the HD remaster? Yeah, I got the remaster version, which wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a straight over, it wasn't a straight port. They actually added and took away a lot of things, which sort of took away from it the... took away some of the fun from it. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's like some things that were actually like considered a little bit censored, but I would say that I think actually the mechanics, the controls felt, they felt snappier, but they weren't... You, you didn't feel as fun, I suppose, as it would have been. Yeah, I mean, when you're going back to those games, like, when you press sort of four, four direction D-pad, turning right and actually turning right seemed so natural back in the day, but now turning no, right... No, it's so awkward. Yeah. Tank controls don't work anymore. Like, because once we got analog controls and, like, Resident Evil just went, you better fucking update that game because we are never, ever playing that with tank controls again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Same thing with Silent Hill as well. Like, if you, whenever they did the HD remasters, they're like, oh, yes, we understand. Analog sticks don't exist. Now the game's a lot easier. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, so let's jump into Twisted Metal and take a look to see. Um, of course, Sweet Tooth, that's one that we all know is the client, the main character from it. Well, the main character. Yeah. But I can't think of anybody else. Just hit no there. Move on the screen. Um, I've never really thought about the series itself. Otherwise, like what... Uh, well, I can't remember any of the other characters. No, neither can I. It's actually, I think... I think the, the idea of Twisted Metal is sort of taking over the actual people's remembrance of playing it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like... Uh, do, do you remember Destruction Derby? I sort of equate them in my head for some reason. I think it was because... Twisted Metal and Destruction Derby. In fact, were they not made by the same people? Fucking yeah. We were, we were chatting about Codemasters previously. Is it not a Codemasters game? I was going to say, I think... I think Destruction Derby, Destruction Derby was a Codemasters yeah. game. Yeah. Uh, Destruction Derby has a very special place in my heart, man. Uh, it was one it was of the... Brilliant. There was the bowl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the bowl. Oh, the bowl. But it, was like, it was one of those few games that I actually had on PC when I was growing up. Um, the, it was one of those games I had on my Olivetti PC. Oh. Pre, it was a, a 486 computer before the first Pentium and we ran Destruction Derby on it and it had no CD drive so it was, somehow somebody copied it onto the hard drive of the of the PC with floppies with floppies but I had we had to move from that 486 to a Pentium and I did not want to leave my copy of Destruction Derby behind and I didn't understand you could take out a hard drive and put it into another computer it was only about nine at the time so I took 12 boxes of floppy disks and copied <laughs> everything in a zip file across onto 47 floppies, numbered each one of them, the copy of Destruction Derby across. Now, what I did whenever I did that, I can just pass through that supplemental log, uh, whenever I did that, was fail to realize that it was a cracked copy of Destruction Derby that we were playing, and of course I left the patch behind. And the main thing the patch did was to bypass the fact that you needed a CD, and the CD required you to have a certain number of tracks on it for it to match to the soundtrack for Destruction Derby, otherwise the game would not run. Right. Okay. That seems like it was a very. It was a smart trick because essentially, unless you had a CD that had seventeen tracks on it, then you couldn't play Destruction. The a pirated copy of Destruction Derby. Oh, ah, right. Okay. It was, it's a it's a weird version of DRM, but an effective one because you said you how many CDs do you have that have seventeen tracks? You know, um, not many albums have that odd, that kind of number yeah, on them. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so what I found out was the only CD in the entire house that I had whenever I moved it to the new computer that would let it play was Dance Ninety Five Disc Two. Okay. <laughs> so Dance Ninety Five Disc Two was my soundtrack to Destruction Derby. Do you know what so song played whenever you did the bull destruction derby game, where they actually like where everybody's driving into each other? Uh, I'm trying to think of dance tracks from nineteen. Dance tracks from nineteen ninety five. Scooter back in the UK. Before. Before that. Ain't never been forgotten, I Joe. I've been, been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? If that name Cotton Eye Joe, I'd be. Never has a song been more appropriate for a fucking game in my entire life. The Rednecks won my world for about that entire summer. I heard that song so many fucking times. It was such a glorious experience. And the driving games for me have always had a special little place. Like I, I would like we've done another previous video. We're chatting about uh, Ridge Racer Type Four. It's in, my, in one of my top ten games of all time. It's actually I love it that much. These combat ones, they sit in the same place they have for me as Mortal as not Mortal Kombat as um, Mario Kart, and I enjoy them. So 
I wouldn't mind. I'm glad to see the Twisted Metal series back in life again. Yeah, totally. Yes. So let's. So where are we going for this? We're offline. Well, that's uh, what I'm trying to do. So here we are. Yeah. So we'll go offline to book now. Yeah. Whoop Perfect. whoop. Do you want to do one or two? Doesn't matter. Give me two. Uh, horror story or deathmatch? We'll go deathmatch. Uh, there we go. What? Oh fuck! The fuck corporate story. <laughs> Deathmatch, sir. Ain't nobody got time for that. That is a lot of menu options. Yeah, it's like fucking hell. This is a, a proper GTA map and everything. Yeah, that's a big ass map. Can we take it from XL to like a smaller one? Because that's the main map. It's saying a massive version. Yeah, there we go. Take uh, it to yeah. a smaller one. I just put a grand house in, yeah. Cool. This, fuck, this is actually quite an involved game then. There's a whole thing. It has a story mode. When did fucking Twist Metal have a proper story mode? No, exactly, yeah. Uh, use bots to put some bots on? or nah. It'll be 1v1 otherwise. Uh, 10 kills. Yeah, sure, works for me. Yeah. Ten kill time. Anything else? Uh, environmental. Blah, blah. Yeah, so start. Just accept X. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. <laughs> the Reaper motorcycle. Fuck, I remember that. Crimson Fury. Is it a helicopter? <laughs> Give me a he oh, yeah, fuck that guy. Look at two times. Juggernaut. Dark side. Actual, Shadow. Uh, that was the actual fucking. Berman. The Meat Wagon. Kamikaze! Roadkill. Road Beat. Road Ghost boat. Rider. Outlaw. This year. A Ghost Rider. <laughs> One man and his car are off to kill. Ev. Drive Sorry. Angry. <laughs> also known as Ghost Rider 3. We couldn't get the license. <laughs> Right, have you picked the one that you want? Uh, I'm just going for Axel. So I'll get Tom Kelsey for me. Whoop whoop! It, 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 you it is. X to toggle it. It is much uh, edgier. Mm? X to close, toggle. Oh, right. It is much edgier than uh, the other ones. Yeah, but it's always had the splatter house gore rules. I mean, essentially, it's always been the schlocky violence. It's like, you never took this seriously. It's the same way, like, Thrill Kill wasn't be meant to be taken seriously. Oh, mm. shit, I have no idea what the controls are. Yeah, neither do I. I don't know what I've done here. I seem to have camouflaged myself. Oh, so... No. What the fuck are the controls? Is it inverse? Square to accelerate. Square to accelerate? That what is the fucking fuck is odd that? as balls. Who the fuck makes square accelerate? Yeah. I think the reason why is because X is, um... Height. Handbrake. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna, um... You just gonna hide, are you? Well, I'm just gonna uh, hoover up some power ups for a while. Just to see how we're going here. Well, I'm gonna kill you while you're waiting. That's it. Uh, Use the mini map to find the power ups if you want them. Woo! There you are. Alright, where's me? Ah! I've got a sniper hanging out of my car. Why would X be fucking. Handbrake, that is. Ah! Oh. Okay, Twisted Metal, you've really got my goat already. <laughs> I thought that was a. I thought it was a sniper shot, it's actually a fucking flamethrower. Woo! I still can't see it. It's because I'm behind you? <laughs> okay. Thermonuclear device! Super testic, you're fortune. <laughs> Where the hell are you? Of, uh, spawn somewhere else, yeah. Aha, I spot you. It. And L2 is machine gun. Yep, what is Jesus? I just ran into a cinema. <laughs> Brilliant. Ah, you're up here, are you? Did you just change vehicle? Yeah, how the hell did you do that? It gives you the option. Ah, when you die, woohoo! Okay, now well, this is ah, uh, why are the controls backwards? <laughs> It's supposed to reverse then, forward? Yep. Oh, come on. And X is the power slide around, so that's why I'm being able to quickly get to you. Yeah, you've also got a faster car. But that's... Oh yeah, that's, that's very true. That's neither here there. Boom! Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, the button mapping needs serious fucking work here. What? Why the... False button mapping is so... <laughs> the what? 
the default button mapping is so it's so counterintuitive yeah yeah it's, it's just one of the things whenever like i i appreciate the fact that since you go like i i will acclimatize to any button mapping over time like you go like right that one's that one that one's that one that one's that one do i need how many of these buttons need three of them that's all i'm going to use <laughs> So I know what accelerate is, I know how to quick turn, and I know which of the weapons I can use. I haven't used any of the special weapons, I've just been using like missiles and machine gun. Are you way back up the top of the building again? <laughs> no, I'm coming for you. <laughs> My god, it's coming right for us! You son of a bitch. Death from above! <laughs> See, I'm using I'm using the uh... L2 is fucking handbrake. When I shouldn't be, I should be using fucking X's handbrake. What? Yeah. I think uh, it makes more sense with X because you actually use your top top of your thumb on S square and then you use the back of your thumb for the handbrake. To be fair, the graphics are looking class. It is. I yeah. We have completely ignored fucking doing review ass questions and topics about this for the last fucking ten or five minutes because it looks glorious. This is actually a really, really fun shooter. I'm glad that it's actually. Like, I never played this. Oh shit, man! You hit me with a Wii remote control car. This is um, this is actually looking great. I'm actually surprised I didn't play this more. Although I can imagine it's probably being so chaotic because like you, it takes a lot of damage to take somebody down. You really need to actually be fucking focusing. So if somebody come at you with like your special weapon and stuff, you didn't even realize. Oh, fuck! Uh, Press an X to accelerate. <laughs> Whoa! Did I, just, I just jumped. So you, uh, oh, you, you can get used to new button mappings. Yeah, I can. So I'm, I sort of get in my head that, you know, R two is accelerate, and that's what it should be for all games. Uh, yeah, I, th it, I think it, I think that just comes from a level of just playing a lot of fucking games. You just gotta get the point where like I just accept that no button mapping will ever be the same again. It's it's, it's that tradition like uh, Japanese games circle first start. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one thing we're like. Oh, where's this game from? Okay, circle. God, I love the fact that you can actually just drive through a theater. Special weapon has regenerated. For whom? The bell tolls. It tolls for the. Ah! Fuck, I accidentally drove into the second theater. There's two theaters? Yep, didn't realize it. The multi pack? Multi pass. What are they showing? Spider-Man uh, 3. They are like, showing uh, uh, test footage. Is that a secret weapon? I don't know if I can. I can't get to it. Why do I get it in there? Is there a, I had a jump button earlier on, but I don't know what it is. Oh, L2, R2. Uh, L, L1, R1 actually swaps weapons. Okay. Okay, so we're like, let me get back to battle here because we're running out of fucking time. <laughs> I know, yeah. I'm trying to find you. Oh, uh, because I was inside the theaters. I'll go outside make it a little bit easier for you. Where are you so I can shoot you? There you are. Oh, yes, this is, this is twisted metal. I remember. <laughs> you know what? This is twisted metal. I remember. Just uh, <laughs> power slide, shoot, power slide, shoot. <laughs> yep. So yeah, you actually went to the the cinema itself, did you? Yeah, I was actually in the theater. Oh, oh finally! I thought I know for me to try a different car. <laughs> Oh, nice. I actually like this one. Bring it on! Oh, well, ain't that cute. Oh, shit! Boom! 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 Whoa! Why is it fucking moving? Alright, I'm gonna help if I actually would go and recharge myself here a wee bit. Excuse me. Excuse me. Run out of weapon. Run out of weapon. That is a window I can drive into. Yeah, so Sweet Tooth is a character, of course, or a, a, a playable DLC you can get on Rocket League. Really? Yeah. 
Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Although, admittedly, the Rocket League DLC characters have always been a little bit... Like, uh, you don't need them for Rocket League. They're just for aesthetics. That's all they are, really. All, all the Rocket League cars form the exact same. They yeah. are just, like... Although, just I've always thought the hitboxes were a little bit different. Uh, the hitboxes? Yeah. What, what's the hitboxes? The, uh, uh, where, where, where you can actually hit the ball from on your car. Like, the angles, the vehicle's shape. Yes. Uh, I, I, was, I often wondered that, like, if... If you got a thin car, does it make it? Uh, does it scoop better? If you have yeah. a large car, does it punch things forward better? And that's always something that's annoyed me about it. That if it does, it, it's it's almost like visually incongruous to do so. You can't you can't tell, or if it's uh, you can't tell if it's actually the case, or if you're just imagining it. Mm -hmm. Let's see, uh, but uh, Sweet Tooth is a bit of a shit car, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> I got I got the Batmobile uh, from Superman vs Batman, and I also got uh, uh, the DeLorean. See, I got the DeLorean as well, and one other one that I got that was I think I got the Mad Max one. The um... oh, what did you get the lorry or something? Can you? No, no, the actual like the actual like Mad Max's blacktop car, the um, the Enforcer car. Like admittedly, it wasn't in Fury Road, but. <laughs> Was it in one of the older films? Yeah, it's his, it's his main car from the original. Uh, oh Mad yes, Max movies, the uh, the uh, proper muscle car. Yeah, the, 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 the I can't remember. I, well, I think it was just called the Enforcer, wasn't it? Because it was the police car. <gasps> Whoops! Didn't mean to do that. Missed myself with the net one. Oh, you freak! You went behind the wall. Right. I need to go up here for a little while. Some things to get. I think that was the win. You're full one up. Did you go upstairs looking for me? Um, I Nine, eight, seven, six, four, four, two. Into the theater! <laughs> uh, for you, for you. Yeah, that was actually enjoyable. Uh, that is a traditional twisted metal experience. That's exactly what it actually is. Yeah, that was that was exactly what you want from a twisted metal game. Yeah, it I, seriously I, I was. was. Really that, I got that. I, I really hope that the um. Actually, one thing I was worried about there is actually the audio might have been a little bit down on it, which uh, would have been a little bit of frustration. But yeah, please hold for technical. Oh yeah, that, that, that was uh, Luminous Beast actually being uh, supportive for us. <laughs> um, yeah, man, this was actually really good fun. Um, I just realized that the live stream actually has that sort of the top of it the entire time. <laughs> You're still in the video though, so. Yep, that was a great idea. Anyway, um, sorry for the actual blockiness over the corner. Actually, the small black bar over the back, that was actually meant to be the chat. Uh, we were having serious technical difficulties when we were looking at previous videos, but uh, we actually, like, I had a lot of fun playing Twisted Metal there. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, I would love to come back and actually play this a bit more online. Is there anybody who still plays Twisted Metal on the PS3 online? Is there a group? Can we get a deathmatch going on? Uh, like, I would love to actually get a few of the guys who are actually watching here on the channel, get us together, and we'll maul the shit out of each other all as Sweet Tooth. It'll be all entertaining. I'd actually love to get that try because the control system was awkward as it is. I got into that really, really quickly. Did you Did you finally get it by the end of the match? I was sort of moving moving towards it, but I, I'm pretty sure you've got the options menu. I'm sure you could remap. You can remap some of the controls, yeah. I, um, I had no idea this came out in PS3. But what, I, I can't believe I fucking missed this. I Well, I only got it because of a PS Plus game. It was, it was a PS Plus game near the uh, middle or the beginning of the PS4 life cycle. It was like, because uh, you still get PS3 games as part of PS Plus now. In fact, this month is Dark yes, Star uh, but Dark Stalker's yeah. Resurrection, which I need to play. It's a make classic sure, sure PS Plus is, uh, or the PS3 is always uh, hooked up. Yeah, I thought it's reason. It keeps you. It keeps me coming back to it. Uh, but anybody who's actually on PS Plus and doesn't get through PS3 games are completely missing out because there's a lot of classes to play through exactly like this, yeah. uh, which I had only getting around to playing now, and I'm so glad I did. It's weird to think that this is retro though. It's not. It shouldn't be that long ago. It's like it's, no, only, exactly. it's only four or five years ago. But yeah, Twisted Metal looks gorgeous. Uh, appears to have a lot, very elaborate story mode to go along with this. If you're going to be playing the co-op story campaign. Uh, the arenas are nice and big. The maps are not too awkwardly detailed. You can place couch co-op couch co and couch versus split screen, which is something fucking rare in modern games. Yeah, so you don't get to see it that much anymore. Split screen's dying out, which is uh, tragedy. Yeah. So, I like all thumbs up on Twisted Metal. Like it, It's a good success of the series. I'm glad it still continues to exist. I'm sad that I hadn't played a Twisted Metal since Twisted Metal Online on the PS2. That was literally the last one I really got into, so... 
yeah, glad that this is back. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, make sure to check it out on the PS3 store if you want. I'm willing to bet there. I'm I'm almost sure this has gone and done the hop across to PC as well, hasn't it? Twisted Metal. Know, Twisted, it. Is Twisted Metal a Sony series? It's not a Sony exclusive series, but uh... trying to think of the may, maybe this version might be a Sony exclusive. But if it isn't Sony exclusive, check it out on PC as well. Uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed watching us to go in our, through our deathmatch gameplay, our banter and chat beforehand, and our discussions of Vigilante 8, which is something I might dig out a copy of, because that'd be good fun to play yeah, as well. We um, I need to dig out an Xbox 360 for that, because I think that was a, that's where the HD remaster was on, wasn't it? No, it was PS as well, I believe. Was it sweet? In that case, I may already have it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just need to check the library for my old games. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. If you enjoyed watching the show, watching us play, then make sure to hit the subscribe at the top. And if you don't like hitting subscribe buttons, I can completely understand why not. Just remember the name, Pastiche of Skin. All you have to do is Google it. I will be right there. I'll be on all the pages. It's not hard to find me. I'm not trying to hide. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Oh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, boom. There'll be a button up there, and over here will be three boxes. One of them will be a playlist of recent videos in this series. Over on the far side, there will actually be uh, the most recently uploaded video on the far end. And right above his head, right there, right about here, will be a video for you based on your user analytics of from YouTube. It'll actually be someone from this channel that relates to your interest specifically. So if you're going to watch any video on this yeah, channel, go and watch that one. Looks pretty good. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see all you dudes at the next Retro Kid. Bye.